Hey everybody, welcome back to Unplugged at Stanford. I'm here with Laura Wheeler, um, who is a program associate at Stanford University, specifically at the Gerhard Casper Quad. And um, she, she's going to be joining us here today. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. So my first question is, if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about your educational background and, and any jobs you worked along the way and how you got here at Stanford. Sure. So I did my undergraduate work in psychology and um, what was called law and society. It's kind of like a pre-law um, study. So I, I knew I was like sure about the psychology thing. That was something I always really enjoyed. And then the law piece um, kind of had studies within like criminal justice and um, different societal aspects of how law comes into play. So that was just something I was trying out. I ended up really loving it at the time. And um, after college, I actually moved out here. I'm originally from the Midwest and moved out here and started working at a law office. Um, I was doing criminal defense work, which was really interesting and um, aligned really well with what I studied in undergrad. So um, I was there for, let's see, four, three or four years. It seems so long ago now. <laughs> um, and really liked the work, but um, couldn't see myself like doing it long term. I like somewhere in between those years was like, oh, I should go to law school and make this a thing. And I think after working in that environment and seeing what it's like to actually have a career in that, mm -hmm. um, just decided it wasn't for me. Okay. So I completely switched fields entirely and started working at a software company doing project sure. management. Um, that was here in the Bay Area and uh, was there for one year because <laughs> I quickly realized like this is not what I wanted to do at all. Um, and then came to Stanford. So I've uh, been here actually this week. I celebrated five years, which is awesome. So um, about a year ago, I finished my uh, master's in, in counseling. So that was something I took on and did uh, kind of full time while I was working for a two year process. So it was long, but really a good experience. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So, okay, so you highlighted a few different things there. So you highlighted that you worked in the criminal kind of justice <laughs> field um, mm -hmm. and then also doing project management. So I guess in, in those two in those two fields and roles specifically, project management specifically within software, mm -hmm. what, what, was, uh, what were things that you learned about those industries that you liked or didn't like and that yeah. kind of led to, led to the, the, I guess, furthered your decision, your, your decision process? Um, so it was criminal defense, criminal but, uh, defense. what is, is the firm I was working for. And, um, it was a good like working experience, but it was a really small office. There was only 14 of us total. And so I felt that, um, making a switch to like one thing I was looking for when I left there was like a really, a larger work environment. And so that's why I picked a software company that was much bigger, um, I just felt that I wasn't exposed to a lot. And at that point I was like, I don't want to do this, but I don't know what I want to do next. So I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to work for a company that had, um, multiple departments within the organization, unlike the law office, which was just law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, that was one thing I knew that I wanted to change. And then within the software company, it was really just, I think a matter of like my skill set didn't match up quite as good <laughs> as the law firm did and also um that work and like that office environment specifically was um a little bit more like individual work styles and i was looking for something more collaborative okay <clears throat> cool and so then transitioning then out of those two into working for a university specifically mm -hmm. for stanford mm -hmm. um so how how was that different um from, from the kind of the culture and everything that, that, that you were working in before? Yeah, it's different in every way possible. <laughs> I think, you know, I've had these like major shifts, but this one has kind of felt the biggest um, compared to the other two. The other two felt like normal working environments and working for a university is just such a unique niche, I feel like. Um, 
it's such a positive place to be in in itself because, you know, students are here to like learn and grow and discover who they are and discover what they want to do. And so there's like a lot of positive forward growth. And I think that really translates into our work as professionals, which I really appreciate. Um, you know, it's clearly a, a much larger, you know, university wide, there's a ton of people here and even the staff, like there's thousands of staff members and all these different departments. And so, um, it certainly exposed me to a lot and learning the university culture has been a whole new, I guess, aspect of switching fields. It's like, what is it like to work in university? What's it like to work at Stanford specifically? Mm -hmm. And that's something that was a huge learning curve when I switched over to Stanford. Interesting. Yeah, Beam Beam had a <clears throat> had a statistic that they that they had put out or something like that where it's almost half of, of Stanford of Stanford students work for Stanford for, in some capacity, like a lot even right after graduation. Yeah. So I guess transitioning into, into that, knowing that a lot of Stanford students work for Stanford, mm -hmm. you know, even if it's just for a year or two sure. before they go into a, you know, take other stepping stones in their career. What what advice would you give to um, students that, that could be working for a university and specifically Stanford right out of, right out of sure. college? Yeah, I mean, I definitely see that in my role. We have many alums within mm -hmm. our department. Um, but I do think it's different, even though I didn't switch from, you know, being a student to being a professional, I, I think the lens that you have to have on is really different. Like being a student, there's a whole culture within being a student, which obviously I wasn't a student here. So that there's a piece of it that like, we were always trying to understand, especially being in student affairs. It's like, what do the students care about and what's important to them? Um, how can we help develop them and, and inspire them while they're here? So that's a big part of it is just understanding the student culture, which obviously they would have, which is huge. Mm -hmm. um, but I think switching over to like being a professional, it's really important to just be a learner in that mm -hmm. process and know that, um, you know, it's a really different role being a student and being a professional. And so I think it's, it's wise for students to just have a lot of like informational conversations with people just about their roles and how things work. I think the work culture in itself is a lot to learn. So I would just say like to ask a lot of questions and kind of be a sponge, especially during the first year. Awesome, I love it. Thank you so much for, for joining us here on Unplugged Stanford.